right, so we're going to go over your topic two, um, homework solution. So uh, make sure you make your corrections on your page and either use a different color or label the section um, corrections. And then upload this onto Teams. Okay, so for number one, we have to um, simplify the rational expression. We're not going to use any decimal answers. So we're going to break it down using a factor tree. I'm using 15 and 10, but you could use something else. So right there, I found a pair. So when you find the pair, that's going to come outside. And what's going to stay inside is the 3 times 2, which is 6. That's a little too big. So 5 root 6. 72, let's see, we could use 9 times 8. That's 3 and 3. There's a pair. Let's see if this goes anywhere. There's another pair. So the 3 and the 2 are going to come outside. The 3 times 2 gets multiplied. You still have a 2 left. Sixty-three, we could do nine times seven. Seven is just seven times one, so can't do anything with that. So three comes out, seven stays under. Break down the eight. There's our pair. So two is going to come out, and that two that comes out gets multiplied to the two that's already there, and then that two stays under. So we get four root two. 540. I think I'll do 54 times 10. 54 is 9 times 6. 3 and 3, 3 and 2, 5 and 2. So we get a pair, get another pair. 3 and 2 come out. 3 and 5 stay in. So we have a 6 on the outside and a 15 on the inside. 6 times 4. There's our pair. 2 comes out, gets multiplied to the 5. This 3 times 2 stays in, so 10 root 6. Okay, rationalize the denominator. So square root of 4 over 49. We can separate and take the square root of top and bottom. Square root of 4 is 2, the square root of 49 is 7. So just because they're perfect squares, we were able to rationalize. Square root of 7 over 81. Let's go ahead and separate those. The square root of 81 is 9, so it already gets rationalized. Okay, so this one we're going to have to actually rationalize the denominator. And so to do that, we're going to multiply top and bottom by root 3. So on top we have 2 root 3, and on bottom that's just going to become 3 because square root of 3 times square root of 3 equals square root of 9, and the square root of 9 is 3. Here as well, we're going to have to multiply top and bottom by square root 5. All right, let's, let's separate these and then look at what we need to do. We need to rationalize. We can multiply those together, and that's just a 3. Let's rationalize that. Separate these first and multiply top and bottom. All right, so the thing here is we can simplify because square root of 24 can be broken down and we get a pair. Okay, so that pair comes out, the 6 stays in. You cannot simplify the 6 and that 3. All right, so when we rationalize this denominator, all we have to do is multiply by root 2. You do not need to multiply by the 5. So what happens is when you multiply those together, 
you get square root of 4, which is 2, and then 5 times 2 is 10. This is where we can simplify. So 2 goes into 10 5 times. For number 15, we can only add them together if they have the same radical. We'll be able to add the 3 root 5 and the root 5. And we'll be able to add 7 root 3 and negative 2 root 3. And you're only adding the numbers that are in front. So 3 root 5 plus 1 root 5 is 4 root 5. 7 root 3 minus 2 root 3 is 5 root 3. Then you have that 17 that we can't combine with anything, so that's your final answer. Square root of 50 plus square root 12 minus 3 root 2. None of them are the same, but we're going to be able to simplify and break these down. Because uh, 50 is 25 times 2, so that's going to be 5 root 2. This is 4 times 3. So that's 2 root 3. All right, that one can't be broken down. So now we can see that we can add the 5 root 2 minus 3 root 2 to get 2 root 2. And then we can't combine that with a 2 root 3. 5 root 7 minus square root 28 plus 11. So we're going to have to break these down. Let's break down the 28 into 7 times 4. So that becomes 2 root 7, and then that we can't simplify. So now we can combine these together, 5 minus 2, and there's our final answer. All right, so for 18 and 19, your order of operations, you want to do the exponents first, and then add together, and then take the square root. So this is equal to 9 plus 16 after we square root those, or sorry, square them. 9 plus 16 is 25, then take the square root of 25 and we get 5. Okay, so same thing for 19. 4 squared is 16 plus 4 squared is 16. 16 plus 16 is 32. Okay, now that's not a perfect square, so let's break it down. There's our pair. So that's going to simplify to 4 root 2. All right, so make your corrections and turn this assignment in on Teams.